What up, what up, what up? It's the real Illinois back again with another video. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, turn on all post notifications, and leave a comment. Well, today is just like any other day. Preparing the bag. And that's what it's all about. Now I know y'all probably y'all probably say why he always talking about securing the bag, securing the bag, securing the bag, securing the bag. Well, easy. The reason why is because if it don't make dollars, then it shouldn't be making no sense. You know what I'm saying? Paper chaser. That's what I am. But don't get it confused when I say paper chaser. All I do is go where the money at. And it come to me. So I'm not really chasing it. I'm standing still. And the money is coming to me. Now don't get me wrong now, y'all. My ultimate goal is to have a second income coming in. Because I'm used to having two jobs. But let me teach y'all something. See, when you... When you uh, in a situation where you can make power moves and decisions on how you want to do stuff, you on your own time, that's when you know you starting to accomplish something. See, what I'm what I mean, what I'm saying is, oh yeah, I forgot my Gatorade. What I'm saying is. No, and I'm not doing no illegal or bad drug. This ain't even no drugs. It's my blood pressure. But this is what I'm saying. This is what you need to think about. This is what you need to focus on. Okay. Now check this out. Now, I'm... in a situation where where I uh I can pick and choose what kind of job I want for the most part for the most part but I, the reason why I say that is because you know how some jobs they want you to work. They don't want you to work a steady schedule. They want you here, there, everywhere. No, 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 no. I'm too old. I'm too old for that. Too grown for games. I need a steady schedule. I'm a family man. I'm a husband. Okay. I need a, I need a steady schedule. And I got it right now. So I got room for a second job. But with them picking this second job again, notice I said again. I always work two jobs. Picking two, picking the second job, you want to try to hopefully get some of the hours and days on the days that you're off on your other job. Or a day one, uh, or, 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 and try to make at least one day that you off on both jobs so you can recuperate. See, when you already got a job, you can tell them, well, I can't do this, I can't do that, uh, such, 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 you got, because you got options. If they want you bad enough, they gonna, they gonna, they gonna uh, respect your options. Yeah, they will. Because they know you already got a job and you keeping the job, so they know that you're gonna come to work. That's for one. 
So, take all that into consideration. Now, I'm not going to tell you no story. Having two jobs, uh, if you're not used to it, at first it's going to seem overwhelming. But when that money rolls around, you're going to forget all about that. See, the, the um, I believe the first, hmm. Oh, the first, uh, the first, uh, like when it say you get paid every two weeks, okay, and on one job, and then you get paid every week on the other one. You always gonna have some money flow. Now, if you get paid every week on both of them, you really gonna be in the stuff. Because one could be the bills, next week could be the check. One could be the bills, next one could be your, you know, spending money. I mean, so, but you got options. That's that's the whole thing about this it's the whole thing about this team you got options and sad to say if something never work out don't never work if something don't work out at one of uh, either one of the jobs you got an option of letting that job go and you still have one versus you only have one so you got to deal with a whole bunch of stuff now I'm dealing with something right now and I'm going to just Say a quick prayer because I just want to cover myself just in case. So, Father God, I ask you that if anyone that's that's planning on doing any hurt, harm, and danger to any of my family or any friends or anybody that doesn't deserve it, Lord, I ask you that you protect them, give them a shield. You know, people are ra raising the fa raising families and everything, so we don't need no negative, God. We don't need no negative, all positive, all positive vibes, Lord. I ask you, touch the people that even thinking about doing evil things or even talking behind your back and stuff like that and, 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 and trying to stir stuff up, God. I just ask you in, in the name of Jesus that you walk with them, talk with them. Fix their hearts, fix their minds that they don't just be thinking about negative and evil things all the time. If there is someone around me or anyone that's going through something like that, I'm not saying that it is right now, but I'm just asking you, God, in advance, in Jesus' name, amen. So that's that's how I do that. That's how I do that. So y'all remember, y'all, two is better than one.